Hi guys, welcome back to Practice Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase the salary of employees by 10% if their rating is more than 4 using Java 8 Stream APIs. Okay, so I will be given a list of employees which will have parameters or you can say characteristics as employee name, employee salary, and employee rating. Okay, so I will be designing an employee class and then I will create the list of employees and then I will need to find out or I have to find out all those employees whose rating is more than four and increase their salary by 10%. But I need to make sure that I will be able to print all the employees at the end. Okay. So let me start writing the code and show you how to do this. So here you can see I have created a class employee and inside that I have written three fields which are going to be the properties of that employee name salary and rating now let me create the constructor getter setup and to string method so here i'm going to use source and then i'm going to generate getters and setters for all the fields so i'll select all and generate getters and setters then i'll generate constructors both default and a parameterized cell setter so here i'm going to use source and generate constructor using fields okay simply i will copy this constructor and i will remove all the parameters so i will be able to generate the default constructor okay so i'll simply remove all these parameters so i will get default constructor as well now i got the constructors getter setters now i need to generate two string method that will help me to print all the employee details so i'm going to use source and then again generate two string method for all the fields and I will click on OK. So this will generate the posting method that will print the employee details. Now I'm done with the creation of employee class. Next thing what I need to do is I need to create a list of employees. Okay. <clears throat> so here I have written another class employee salary update and this class contains a main method which is going to be starting point for our program execution. Now let me create the list of employees by writing java.util.list and here I'm going to create the list of employees. So I'm going to make this list as employee type of list. Here I'm going to use arrays dot as list method which we have written inside this problem statement and I'll simply copy this list as it is. Okay, so here I need to import these arrays from arrays in java.util. <clears throat> okay, so I created the list of employees Next thing I need to use stream APIs to find those employees whose rating is greater than four and then I increase their salary by 10%. So here I'm going to use stream APIs. So I need to convert this employee list into stream by using stream function. Next thing I'm going to use pick method. This pick method will allow me to modify an object while iterating over this list okay so here i'm going to pick the employee and then i'm going to check if that employee if that employee dot get rating if the rating is more than four then what i need to do i need to set the salary of that employee by 10% of I need to increase the salary of that employee by 10%. So here I'm going to set the salary of that employee by 10%. So first I need to get the salary and then increase the salary by 10%, which is 1.10. So I'm going to get the salary and multiply it by 1.10, which will increase the salary of that employee. And finally, once I'm done with this, I'm going to collect all the employees into a list by using collectors dot to list function. So this will give me a list of all employees, but this list will have the employees with increased salary as well. So I'll get all the employees, but the employees which are having rating more than four will be having increased salary. Okay. And this collectors dot to list returns me a list. So I'm going to create a list to store this result, okay? And here I will mention as updated employee list. Now I got the updated employee list. What I will do, I will simply print 
all the employees. Okay, so here I can use updated employee list dot for each function and inside that I can use system dot out and then print alert method. So this will print all the employees which are available inside this updated employee list. Now let me run this program and show you the output. So here you can see I am getting all the four employees which were in our list. But if you see the salary of these two employees, Sachin and Saurav, they had a rating as five and their salary has been increased by 10%. So if you see the salary of Sachin, it was 50,000. So 50,000, 10% becomes 5,000. Okay. And that 5,000 has been added into this salary. So it became 55,000. Same thing goes for Saurav as well. Saurav's salary was 55,000. So 10% of 55,000 becomes 5,500. And that has been added into this, which becomes 60,500. Okay, guys. So that's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Also, if you need any assistance to crack the interviews, please connect us at practice lab 23 at directgmail.com. Thank you. Bye.